Hello guys, I'm here to talk to you about how to transfer your songs from Fruity Loops to Reason 6. Now I've been using Fruity Loops, Fruity Loops for the past 3 years, but then uh, I found another program called Reason and I'm in love with it. I just love the way how it looks, the love the sound of it, the sample that they have, the default, anything about it is just amazing. But the problem is, I have all my old songs in uh, in Fruity Loops, but then I don't know how to transfer it because they both are in different programs, different creator. But I found a way how to transfer it. But makes uh, but this is only works on Reason Six version since it has a built-in Reason Record on it. So if you have a previous Reason such as Five or Four, then you need you need to get another program called record on it so but first uh, make before you transfer your song make sure you uh, write down all your important how do you call it key changes or volume changes such as for example here the volume gets louder you write down that number 17 seconds and 45 milliseconds and just write down every single step the single part of it where like the master level changes or the envelope changes and it anyway then the main thing is you write down the the beats per minute on the tempo on it as you can see on top left corner here it says 110 make sure you memorize that or write it down somewhere and this is how you transfer your music to from fully loops to reason First of all, click File, click Export, click WAV File. Uh, make sure you use it on WAV File because Reason 6 only works at WAV File. Doesn't work with MP3. Doesn't work with um, whatever another one. OGG file, MIDI file. Uh, might be working with MIDI file. I haven't tried that. Who knows? Anyway, if if anyone knows. If it's working with MIDI file, put a comment below. I click on WAV file, create a new folder. I already created a blah 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 here. Select it and save it. And make sure it's on WAV. Uh, the depth is 24 bit upload and the bit weight make sure to the highest so there's better sound quality in Reason 6. And by default, I think this one is off make sure the split mixer tracks is on click on start or background rendering it's up to you but I'm not gonna do that since I already done that so I'm gonna exit that no I'm not gonna save that I didn't change anything um alright let's open reason yeah, this is gonna take a while yeah, just just to be clear, it has to be on. Um, if it's reason six, you can do it straight away. But if you have previous reason, you have to reason you have to buy the record for it, cause it consider an audio file. So as you can see here, reason is already loaded up. I have this is the default page of reason six. I'm I'm just gonna leave it like that, since this is just to show how to transfer it All right. this is where I save it, this is one of my album number 2 and this is all the WAV file that we just created from Fruity Loops split tracks so make sure on reason set the tempo to uh, whatever your song was in Fruity Loops since in this case it was 110 so 110 and just basically just like all and drag and drop yep it's gonna take a while because it's, it's gonna import like every audio file into reason close cool about this is that um it's it is lined up for you exactly the way you left it so just give it a second as you can see here where there's the song on bar 13 
16. You can see the song is lined up here. As you can see 16, and you can. Yeah. No, I just give it a second. Just gonna, depends depending on your track, it will take ages. If you have so many different instrument going on, but I don't think this one is that bad. And as you can see here on top part, it's all considered an audio track, so it's no more like VST instrument. So whatever you need to change on VST, like effect and stuff, do it on Fruity Loops first, and then change it and then export it as WAV file. Um, then import it to Reason. If, or else you can just create a new track, create a new instrument in Reason. Alright, I think it's pretty much done. As you can see here, this is all the different tracks, different WAV file from that file that I just showed you before. You can see they all end at the same time, start at the same time, it's all like lined up for you perfectly. So you don't need to rearrange it. Okay, my audio one, my audio is not working at the moment, but anyway, that's how you do it. As you can see, if you press the F5, and you can see all the mixers. This is what I love about Reason, this mixer here. It's amazing, I love it. I don't like the mixer in Fruity Loops, and I just like the way the Reason look for you. But here, as you can see, the left is audio track. I like the, uh, like, or you can manage cables and stuff and you can do your own feels like a professional studio that's why I like about the reason anyway alright guys thank you for listening this is how you this this to show you how to transfer your music sorry I'm just really tired so your music from Fruity Loops back to reason or vice versa you can I think you can do it both ways but if anyone knows how to transfer like volume automation from Fruity Loops to region just put a comments below to, yeah just let everyone know help everyone out anyway guys subscribe to my channel for more of my songs and probably region tutorial but I'll be busy so probably not have so much videos for you guys alright bye bye